Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a title like this one. So to get started I've already imported a background image that I'm gonna use and right now I'm gonna create a new composition. It's gonna be five seconds long and it's gonna be using the HDTV 1080 preset. So once you're done adjusting it, hit OK. And the first step is gonna be creating a new black solid. So after creating it, open the effects and presets panel and search for fractal noise and then apply that to the solid and right now we have to adjust the settings so first I'm gonna change the noise type to block and then the complexity all the way down to 1 then the next step is gonna be setting the contrast to 750 and also in the transform options set the scale to 300. So right now we have these squares. And the thing that we're gonna animate is the evolution. So we're gonna set a keyframe right here in the beginning for zero degrees. And then I'm gonna move the playhead all the way to the end. And I'm gonna set the evolution to 180 degrees. And now if I preview this, you can see how it looks. Now we're gonna pre-compose this solid and make sure that you select move all attributes into the new composition, otherwise this isn't going to work and I'm gonna rename it to displacement. Now the next step is gonna be taking this background image and putting it on top of this displacement pre-comp inside of the main composition. So let's place it right here and then let's scale it down so while you're scaling it down press shift and that way it's going to scale down proportionally and after you're done adjusting your background then you can use the type tool to type in your title so i'm going to select this title right now and i'm going to align it to the center using the align panel so after you're done with adjusting the background and your title, and you can also use a logo with this, you're gonna need to create a new adjustment layer. Now we're gonna open the effects and presets panel, and we're gonna search for an effect which is called displacement map, and we need to apply it to the adjustment layer. Now the next step is gonna be setting the displacement map layer to the pre-comp that we've made. And right now, if we increase the horizontal and the vertical displacement, you're going to see what happens. So I've increased the values by 200 and by 100. And you can see that this image is being displaced based on this map that we've created here. And if I start previewing this, you can see that there's changes. And that's because the displacement map is also changing. So right now, before we animate this, we need to take care of these black rectangles that are appearing. And to fix that, we're gonna search for an effect which is called Repetile, and we're gonna apply it to the background image. So right now, I only have them appearing in the sides, but you could have them appearing on top and in the bottom. So set the tiling to unfold, and then increase these values until you no longer have any black areas. So if you have to expand this up and down, but my image already has some pixels right there, so I don't have any issues. So the values that we're gonna animate are the horizontal and vertical displacement. So I'm just gonna quickly set two keyframes. It doesn't matter where you put them in the timeline. And then I'm gonna press U so that I only see these two values which I'm going to animate. So we're gonna animate this in two steps. So that means that the vertical displacement is gonna go from 100 to 50, and then from 50 to zero, and the horizontal one is gonna go from 200 to 100, and then from 100 to zero. So to see what I'm talking about, set a keyframe right here at the 10th frame, then I'm gonna move the playhead 15 frames forwards, and I'm gonna set this value to 50, then nothing is gonna happen for a while. And right here, I'm gonna set a keyframe. And then again, 15 frames later, I'm gonna set the value to zero. So this is what we have. The next step is the horizontal displacement. 
So I'm gonna set a keyframe in between these two and then let's set this value to 100. So this is what we have going on. And then for the final one, make sure that this final animation um, has the longest duration because we wanna make it a lot smoother. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna go vertical, horizontal, vertical, and then horizontal. And before I preview this one final time, I'm gonna select all these keyframes and I'm gonna hit F9 to easy ease them. So to make this look even more dynamic, select all these keyframes and then open the graph editor and then make sure that you're editing the speed graph by right clicking. So right now, take these handles and drag them until you have the graphs look like this. So that's gonna make the animation peak right here and it's gonna start off slow and it's gonna end slow. So I'm gonna do that for the first three graphs. And then for the final one, we're gonna make it quick in the beginning and then really slow towards the end of the animation by doing this. And right now, if I do a final preview, you're gonna see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.